So DJI have dropped a new version of their Fly app. This is 1.7.4 for Android and iOS devices. And I've been out flying using an Android device with the DJI Mini 3 Pro, the DJI Mini 2, and of course the Mavic Mini, which is the same as the Mini SE. So the full review of this app coming right up. So how do you get this app then? Well, of course, if you're on iOS, you go to the App Store. If you are on a Android device, you will get this pop-up notification when you open up the DJI Fly app to say the update is available. If this doesn't happen, you can go to the DJI download page and download it directly from them. Or of course, what you can do is go to the link in the video description and you can hit my Google Drive link and that hosts all the Android install files, including any older ones, should you wish to revert backwards. If you are watching this on Android and you are having difficulty getting it installed please watch this video and that will guide you through it. It is of course on my channel. So what exactly is new then? Well we have got the DJI FPV added support for Japanese remote ID requirements and of course you have to update to the latest firmware to enable this feature and then we have got the ever old fixed certain issues and optimized overall app quality. Yep we've had that one before so time will tell whether that is actually the case. So I'm going to start with the DJI Mavic Mini Stroke Mini SE. I have had a really good play around all the settings, flight tested this drone and looked around absolutely everything and tested um, all the compatibility and all the camera and quick shots, etc, etc. Now on my device, certainly I can confirm that for this drone, everything is working absolutely fine. There is no firmware updates. Um, everything just seems to work. And as we pretty much know, uh, as sad as it is for myself, the Mavic Mini is pretty much at the end of its life and of course the Mini SE is pretty much the same drone as the Mavic Mini uses the same controller it's got the same menus etc etc so anytime I do an update on the Mavic Mini of course it is relevant for the SE as well but if you have one of those drones nothing bad to report you are all good to go So when it comes to the DJI Mini 3, again, I have been out flying this machine and emptying some batteries. Um, and I can again report that I found no particular problems with this drone itself. All of my settings seem to work absolutely fine. They seem to stay and stick as they should on what I last left them. Um, camera all look good video quality look good all the settings everything seems to be working as it should um, i did find one little bug uh, whereas this drone again i've mentioned this previously on the channel seems to be flying on a 2.4 gigahertz frequency when it most certainly should be flying on 5.8 which did initially give us a few connection issues okay but overall it did actually get fixed now when i was on a flight with this dji mini 3 um when i started to get a weak connection i did did get a message uh, that I have never ever seen before on the DJI Fly app and this is a message telling us that the, basically the app is feeding back to us on our screen that we seem to have an obstacle in between the drone and the controller okay so that might be quite handy for those of you that are flying within cities um, or if your drone is behind trees even though you might be pointing the controller towards the drone so we are getting that green indicator on the compass the it may well be detecting that there is some obstacles in between. Now I found this little new warning a little bit sensitive and um, because when I was doing my test flight I certainly had no obstacles between the controller and the drone however I was coming up to a point where I do know there is sort of a bit of an interference um, issue so it may well be that it was throwing up this warning but certainly this is new uh, for this app version and I've never seen that before but overall when I was flying this DJI Mini 3 everything seems to be working absolutely fine and if you do have this drone and using the RCM1 controller okay um, apart from a slight issue I'm going to mention when it comes to the Mini 2 stuff um, everything does seem to be working absolutely fine so let's get on with the Mini 2 and show you some of the little things and little bugs that do remain for the Mini 2 and one thing that you should be doing for definite after you have updated your DJI Fly app 
So the Mini 2 was a bit of a tricky one because of course it still remains the most popular drone on my channel which is why I still like to feature it on my DJI Fly app updates. And first of all I can report again going through the menus there is absolutely nothing new um, and that includes the bugs that I found on my previous update. So for some reason when it does come to the DJI Fly app and the Mini 2 specifically again I've mentioned this many times before uh, for some reason when you adjust the yaw uh, speed speeds so that's the speed that the aircraft rotates just specifically on the Mini 2 that does not reset when you hit that button for some bizarre reason and another issue that does remain is every time I restarted my app um, for some bizarre reason the allowing of the upward gimbal rotation seems to just toggle itself on and off as it sees fit um, as you can see I'm closing the app reopening the app and sometimes it is staying on the setting I left it sometimes it's not even when I completely power down the control and power down the drone power it all back up sometimes it's still on sometimes is off I have no idea what is going on with this but that is something for you to look out for if you are planning to quickly uh, capture a shot please do be aware that this setting might have toggled itself off. Now the next problem I found initially uh, with the DJI Mini 2 was the fact that the compass seemed to be completely off. Now when I was flying my Mini 2 and again I've emptied a couple of batteries doing this uh, just to check the accuracy, initially as I took off it seemed absolutely fine and there was no problems whatsoever. Okay. However for some bizarre reason even though I knew I was pointing the controller towards the drone you can see down at the bottom I was getting that green Dock. As soon as I rotated the drone, it completely threw the compass completely out. And when I was flying the DJI Mini 2, when I came to a high interference area, I again got the same new message within the DJI Fly app to say that it was detecting there was an obstacle between the controller and the drone. Again, still sensitive, I'm flying from the same area, and the fact that there was no obstacles between the two, but again, this is just something for you to look out for. One little issue I did have with the DJI Mini 2, the Mini 3 actually today on this flight seemed a little bit stronger, but the Mini 2 just kept clicking in and out of signal which basically um, caused a bit of a problem because I couldn't press the return to home because it wouldn't keep signal long enough for me to press the return to home and when I eventually did of course it came back no problem at all so that was quite a handy return to home test. Now one piece of advice I want to give you is if you do ever have any issues with your compass display the first go to thing you should do is to calibrate your compass on your device because that's where the app gets its compass information from. So all you need to do is to open up Google Maps on your Android device click the dot for your location click on calibrate and of course just follow these steps just sweep your phone uh, like that and then it will pick up your location and that will fix the compass accuracy and once I done that I then took the DJI Mini 2 back out for a second flight and I can confirm that that actually fixed the problem and that compass direction issue error never actually repeated itself so anyway that wraps up the video please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below hit that thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe if you're awesome until next time see you again soon